I watched over 30 movies this last month, but which ones were the best of the best? Hello everybody, my name is Jesse and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be going over the top 5 best movies I watched in the month of January 2024. Now this was actually a rather difficult list to compile because I watched a lot of really really good movies this month and I was debating, I went back and forth on a couple of them and uh, in the end, this was, these were the five that I ended up on, so let's get in, let's get right into it. <clears throat> Coming in at number five, I have Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Um, I rewatched this one because Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, uh, was re-releasing in IMAX, um, and I went and saw it with my friends, so I rewatched this first one, and I... I love it. I love this. I love it's one of my favorite comic book movies of all time. Uh, the animation is absolutely incredible. I love all of the characters. Uh, I love the the music, the soundtracks, and I just think it's it's really creative and really really well done. And up until Spider Man Across the Spider Verse came out, it was some of the best animation I had ever seen in an animated movie, and some of the things that they were able to pull off. It just really gives you that feel of a comic book brought to life, and that's what makes it so unique and creative, and that's why I think a lot of people love it so much, and that's why I love it so much. Um, so this has always been one of my favorites. And yeah. Coming in at number four, I have Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Um, I saw it in IMAX with uh, some of my friends, and... It was just as good this time around, if not better. I, I, uh, this has been this is m probably my favorite Spider-Man movie has been since it came out back in June of last year, and everything that I loved about Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, this movie did e even better. Did it was a hundred times that the animation is out of this world the fact that they're able to get all these different animation styles all in one thing with with all of the different spider people from different worlds and combining all of their animation styles is, is absolutely incredible the color use is awesome um the characters again are are fantastic i love the new characters in this movie specifically spider-man india and spider-punk i think they both absolutely steal the show and uh, I can't wait to see more of them in the next movie. Um, <clears throat> and Spider-Gwen was, was really good in this movie as well. She was really, she probably became my favorite variant um, after this movie. She was really, you could almost call her the main character of this movie because this, uh, Across the Spider-Verse, really uh, gave you a lot more of her backstory and helped you understand her character a lot more, which I really enjoyed. So just everything about this movie, the music, the characters, the animation, it's all phenomenal. At number three, I have Knives Out. Uh, this was a murder mystery movie that came out back in 2019. And I am a gigantic fan of murder mysteries, uh, both books and movies. I, I love a murder mystery. I love seeing all the pieces uh, get found throughout the movie, the characters like find all the clues and have to piece them together. I've always been a huge fan of that thing, that type of thing. And uh, ever since this movie came out, I've loved it. It's become almost one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, it's just a, it's a great story of like seeing all the pieces come together and the twist at the end is great. And it's just a lot of fun seeing Chris Evans play a bad guy for a change. I mean, he, he did this and Avengers Endgame in the same year. Talk about two polar opposite roles. Um, and he, he's just, he, he's so easy to hate in this movie. And it, he, he plays it fantastically. So uh, I also really like that. <clears throat> Ana de Armas does fantastic in this movie. I think this was the first thing that I remember seeing her in. And she's become... One of my favorite actresses uh, over the years. She does absolutely, she does fantastic in this movie. Uh, and everyone really does a great job. Um, so yeah. Number two, I have The Godfather. 
This was my very first time seeing this movie, and I loved it. Just, I expected to like it, but I was also, I, I had heard all the things about it, all, all great performances, great music, uh, being called one of the best movies of all time. I had seen all the reviews, and it took me much longer than I wanted to to get, finally get to see this movie, and I finally did, and it was absolutely amazing just as good as everybody says it is marlon brando steals the show he, it's my favorite performance i've ever seen from him and it's really one of the most iconic performances of all time and one of the most iconic movies of all time i mean you you mentioned movies or cinema one of the top things that people say are the godfather it's uh highly influential and everybody references it and it shows up in lots of other movies and uh, it's just a fantastic story of uh, Michael Corleone is kind of becomes like the almost protector of of the Godfather, trying to find the people that tried to kill him. And by the end, he ends up taking over the mantle, and that's what leads into Godfather Part Two. But the absolute highlight of this movie for me was Marlon Brando's performance. He did absolutely fantastic, and he really made you feel about the character um and yeah, by the end you you just you love him and i mean like i've said the music in this movie is incredible the main godfather theme is amazing uh i had heard it before but it, the music in this movie is amazing and uh it doesn't really feel like a, a 70s movie i think it can't think it came out in the 70s like 74 um but it feels like it came out much older than that. Like it feels like it could have came out 20 years ago instead of 50 years ago. It feels very ahead of its time. And I think that's why, that's what sets it apart from a lot of other movies from that time period. And that's why a lot of people like it. But coming in number one for me is La La Land. I had to watch this movie one last time before it left Netflix on the last day of this month of last of January. Um, and if you've seen some of my other videos, you've heard me talk about this movie before. I love La La Land so much. Uh, it's been about 10 months, a little over 10 months, uh, since I've seen this movie for the very first time, uh, almost a year now. And I've seen it four or five times since I think this, this was my fifth or sixth time seeing the movie. And I just, I never get sick of it. I constantly have the soundtrack. I'm either listening to it or the, just the songs will just pop into my head at any time. I can almost sing every song word for word at this point. Uh, I love the characters. Me and Sebastian are, are awesome. Ryan Gosling steals the show. And uh, this is one of my favorite performances from both of them. They, they're both uh, awesome. I love the cinematography. I love all of the dance the musical numbers and i i love the colors the the use of color and uh damien chazelle just really has proven that he is a master of of directing and writing i mean he he won the the oscar for directing and he was the youngest to do so at the time which i just found out uh, a couple months ago which is i think is fantastic um definitely deserve it so deservedly so and um I, I i've said it before i could watch this movie almost every day for the rest of my life if i had to i love it it's just it's two hours it flies by and it never gets old there you have it those are the top five best movies i watched in the month of january 2024 if you like this video please like it and uh, subscribe to my channel so you never miss another one of my videos um and uh let me know in the comments what was your favorite movie you watched in the month of january 2024 and uh in the meantime i'll see you in the next video